Good morning, this is Bremster, attempting to finish my marathon recording session of Sudoku U Puzzles. This is Pincers by Ms. Peacock and Nash. And this one is from Signet Sudoku Volume 1. Um, this is one that was requested. Um, quite a few people asked that a solve video be done of this puzzle. So I'm doing a solve video of this puzzle. Um, I assume this one's a little bit trickier, which is why people have asked for a solve video. I've not attempted this one, and this has got the bane of my existence, which is Little Killer. So, ouch. Um, we will see how I go. So Signet Sudoku Volume 1 is a book of puzzles that have been created, um, including puzzles by the students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards, Puzzles and Paradoxes class. Um, and yeah, I've been bringing these puzzles as the series called Sudoku U, um, and they've been quite popular, and the Signet Sudoku pack has been incredibly popular. Signet Sudoku Volume 1, um, Lucian Puzzles, another YouTube channel, has been streaming these. Sorry, I am very underslept. I have been <laughs> recording these puzzles overnight. Um, the has been streaming the Signet Sudoku, uh, sorry, Lucian Puzzles has been streaming the Signet Sudoku Volume 1 pack um, and has been uh, those streams. I've watched a few of them. I have not seen this puzzle. I don't think uh, if I do, I don't remember it um, has been doing very well. The temperature is starting to warm up here. So I'm putting my air conditioning back on. Sorry about that. Um, and um, yeah, so the puzzles created by the students, they've done the circuits and everything, but this is a puzzle that had a lot of feedback that people wanted some help. So I'm going to try and solve it, even though little killers are not something I am great at. Now there is a tool in Sudoku Pad, which is the calculate cell sums, which I think you can see here. And if that's turned on above the um, title of the puzzle in Sudoku Pad, any cells that you select, it will give you the sum or the sum range based on pencil marks of the cells that you can put, uh, you put in there. So if I I was to you know select um, two cells, even two empty cells. It tells me that the possible range is three to seventeen. And if I select another cell outside of that, like with those cells selected, there it tells me that the sum could be four to twenty-six. So it's giving me the possible ranges of cells um, based on the possibilities of digits that could go in. And as pencil marks go in, it will narrow that range. So it's a very useful tool for people who don't want to just sit there going, "What's blah 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 blah." I'm I'm also not against using an external calculator, which I may do depending on what happens with this puzzle. So um, I am now going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Uh, I just got an alert message from OBS, but it seems to be recording okay. Let's give this a shot. So these are three cells that all see each other. The minimum I could put into them is one, two, and three, and one, two, and three sums to six. So this has to be one, two, and three. This one is more interesting to me, I think, because they have to sum to 17. Now, if I was to put... So one of these has to be quite high, doesn't it? Like if I make this a nine, these would still need to sum to eight. But what's the minimum I could put on here? Nine, eight, seven, six. This has... Could I make this six, though? Six, seven, eight. This could be a six. But if this was a six, this is a maximum of six. So these have a maximum of five. So the maximum I could put in here is five and four in some order. So the maximum these could be is nine. But that would mean this has to be an eight. But the maximum these can be is nine. So this is eight or nine. But if this was four and five, this would have to be a nine and six, seven, eight, nine would break. If this is 4, 5, this is broken. Because 4, 5 is... Oh, no, this has to be an 8. So that does work. Is that forced? Because 4, 5 here means that this is an 8 to get to 17. And this is 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's the maximum that could be. 
Now, if I lower this at all, say I make it three, five, this becomes a nine. And this still has to be six, seven, eight, nine. It's broken. This is absolutely forced. This is four, five, eight. This is six. This is seven, eight, nine. And this is seven, eight, and nine. That is absolutely forced. Because if I was to lower, the only way I could lower this by one is to lower the four down to a three. And if I make this three, five, this is eight. This has to be a nine. Because there's still a five in one of those, this still has to be six, seven, eight, nine, and that's broken. So that is absolutely forced. That's crazy. Now this can't be a nine anymore. What is the maximum along here now? This could be a nine, this could be an eight, this could be a seven, this could be a six, this could be a five. Wow, that is remarkably unforced. Two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. No, this doesn't have a maximum of eight. What did I do that for? This had a maximum of six, because it can't be seven or eight. So this has a maximum of five, this has a maximum of four, this has a maximum of three, and this has a maximum of two, because I can't put seven or eight there. So this is just five or six. And this can't be six or seven. So this is eight, or, this is just nine. Okay. Which puts nine in one of those two. So these are just one, two, and three. Okay. Now, this is a 40 sum that already has 18 on it. See, so this is where my math is terrible. These long... So, 40 minus 18 is 22. So, those cells there have to sum to 22. Nine is in one of those two cells because I can't put nine partway along a thermo. Now the maximum here is seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. But the minimum I can put in here, so this is three or four because the minimum this could be, no, this is just four because I've got a one, two, three in the box. So this is five, this is six, this is seven. Now, the minimum, maximum here is 8, then the maximum 7, maximum 6. So this is a 5, 6. So this is 7 and 8 because of the 5, 6 pair forcing this to be... This was 6 or 7, but it had to be 7. This 5 makes this 4, this 3, this 2, and this 1. 9 in this box now is up in one of those two. Okay... Now, it's all going to come down to these little killers. This isn't the one, because of the one looking up. Nine is in one of those... No, nine is just there, by Sudoku. Now, eight is in... Where's eight in this row? It's not in those. It's not in those because of the eight looking up. It's not there and it's not there. This is the eight, which has put an eight on this 40 sum. But these are just one, two, and three. Because four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But these now sum to 26. So these have to sum to 14. I don't have enough on those yet, though. Is it this 44 sum? Because those actually sum to quite a lot. Those sum to, well, 789 is 24, plus 3 is 27. So 44 minus 27. Ugh. That's math. Uh, 37 is another 10. To get to 44, I need another 7. No, is that right? Yeah, 7. 27, 37, yeah, I need another 7. So it's 17. These cells sum to 17.
Can I put a nine on them then? Because if this was nine, one, five, that would be 15. And if I put a four in here, the minimum. So if I do minimum here, nine, one, five, that's 15. That's if this is a nine. Nine, one, five is 15 plus four. I'm at 19, but these sum to 17. That's correct, isn't it? These, because these sum to 27, 44 minus 27 is 17. 915, I've blown the total. That's not a 9, that's a 9, that's not a 9, that's a 9. Because it'd be 915 and I've had blown the total. So this is 1, 2, 3. This can't be a 1, 2, 3 though. So these are 5, 6, 7, and 8. So what can this be? Because if this is 8, 1, 5, 8, 1, 5 is 14, and then I hit 18. So this can't be an 8. 7, 1, 5 is 8, 13, plus 4 is 17, and that would have to be a 0. This can't be a 7 either. This gives me a 5, 6 pair, so 5, 6 comes out of those. These are 11. So these are 11, 20, 38. So these cells have to sum to 6. So 11, 20, 38. So the cells... in green, sum to 38. But the whole diagonal has to sum to 44. So the yellow cells have to sum to six. Minimum here is four, so those have to sum to two. So this is a four, and those are both one. That is not a one, that's a five. And that's got that diagonal done. That's really cool. Okay, now, there's no one in any of those. Right, now, the only thing I've got left now is this diagonal and Sudoku, because the thermos are resolved. Like, that is between those, that is between those, that is between those. The thermos are done. Two is in one of those three. One is in one of those. Eight, eight is right here by Sudoku. Seven is right here by Sudoku. Seven is here by Sudoku, which puts seven in one of those two. This seven looks like making this eight and this seven. You could have done that earlier, which puts seven in one of those two. Two. No. What's this triple? One, five, six. Well, there's no six in either of those. So that's the six. And that leaves me with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those are two and four. less helpful than I might have liked. Where's one in this column? Because that one sees that. So one was down here, but those two ones knock out those two cells. That's a one. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not a five. Mmm. Ah. This cell sees a lot. It sees one, it could be two, could be three, can't be four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So this is only two or three. So these are from two, three, four, nine. So this is three, four, or nine, because it sees a two. That could be any of them. Okay. 
Okay, Bob. It's got to be this 40. So 18, 27. No, 26. See, math is my strong suit. So these cells here sum to 14. Let me just make a note of that. I'm just making a note. I'm just typing out oh, 14. So I remember these sum to 14. So what are these? These are 1, 2, 3, and 5. So this is 1, 2, 3. Where, where do I put 5 in this column? I can't put it there. Can't put it there because of that 5. Can't put it there because of the 5, 6 pair. This is a 5. So this is a 6. This is a 5. So this is a 6. So 6 is in one of those two. 5 is in one of those three. But these still sum to 14. 6 is in one of those two. This is low, this is low. Maximum here is 7. So these have to sum to at least 7. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 5, and 6 is all they can be because they see 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 9. This one, it's got options. It can be 2, 3, 4, 6, 9. Don't think it could be 9 because if this is 9, these would have to sum to 5 and the minimum here is already 5. So this can't be 9. It's 2, 3, 4, or 6. Okay. But if this was six, six, I'm blown because these would have to sum to two. But I could do five, six, two, one. That could work. So I need more information. Okay. Need to put a three in this column. So what's this quadruple? One, two, three, and four. So one is in one of those two cells, because this one's seeing all of those. So these are from two, three, and four. So six is in one of those. This is a six. Where do I put six in this column? Can't put it there. Can't put it there. Can't put it there. That's a six. So this is two, three, or four. That's it's not a two. So there's a five in one of those two, and it's not there. This is the five, and this is one, two, three, four, and it's not four. So four is in one of those two, so that is not the four. So four is in one of those two. Tricky. This is two, three, or nine, because the column is missing one, two, three, nine, and there's a one there. So this is two, three, nine. I need more information on that little killer. Because I can make these sum to almost any value. Like if this is a one, these would have to sum to 13. Like I could make those sum to 10 with that being a three. I could make those sum to nine with that being a four. It's all possible. It doesn't help that I'm exhausted. Um, sorry, I'm looking for the Sudoku I'm missing, because there'll be a lot of it. So the top row, one, two, three, four. There's one, two, three, fours everywhere. This is one, two, three. So this is one, three, four. Uh, 
These are two, three, seven, and eight. And this can't be two or seven. So this is three or eight. So eight is in one of these two. One, so this row is one, or well, where's one in this row? It's not here because of that one. It's not here because of that one. It's not here because of that one. This is the one, this is the eight. So this is three or four. Has that done anything? It's given me this triple, which is two, three, seven, which has taken three and two out of there. So this is four or six only. So this can't be a six anymore, surely. No, it could. This could be six, this could be four, and those could both be two. But if that's six, that's six. If this is six, this is six, and then these would have to sum to two, and they can't. Because by Sudoku, if this is six, six goes there, because six couldn't go there anymore. So this would be six, this would be six. This can't be a six. So six is not in any of those. So six is in one of those now. So this is whittling it down, but minimum here is now seven, maximum is 11. It's still too many options. I need something else. So these are two, three, four, and nine. Well, so this is four or nine. So this row, it's two, three, four, nine, but there's two and three are in here. So this is four or nine only. So one, two, three, four is any of those. Five is one of those two. Six is one of those two. Seven, I've got eight is in one of those two? No, eight is right there. So this is the five. This is four, six, or nine. Right, where's nine in this box? This is the nine. This is not the nine. This is a four, six. Which looks like making this the three, making three out of there, makes this the two, this the nine. The two takes two out of there. This is not the nine. This is two, this is four which means this is two. There's no two here anymore. There's no two here anymore. The one three makes this four. The two looks up making this three, taking three out of all of those. Okay. This is pressuring this a lot. but I'd like to try and find some more. <laughs> Please, sir, I want some more. This is one, two, or four, and it's not two. So this is one or four. Wow. Uh, this four makes this six, which makes this four. And now yellow needs to sum to 10. So those need to sum to 10. So if this is three, they need to sum to eight and they can't. So, sorry, if these are three, these need to sum to seven and they can. If this is five, they need to sum to five. But if this is two, those need to sum to eight. Oh, and they can. If this is one, these need to sum to nine. Nope, I'm not there yet. <laughs> <clears throat> da, 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 da. Okay, four takes four out of here. So four is not in any of those. So four is in one of those two. There's probably some weird Sudoku going on with what's forced onto, onto this by that, but I'm going to try and find something else first. This is a three, so there's no three here. 
three is in one of those two. That two. This is a one, three, four, five quadruple. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six or nine. So this is six. This is nine. This is two, four, or five. So it's two or five only because it sees that. Oh my Lord. The re I mean, this was a hard one from Signet 1. So these need to sum to 10. If this is 1, this is 4, 5. If this is 1, 2, 1, 5, 5, 5. I don't see a problem there. If this is 3, these have to sum to 7. And there's multiple ways of doing that. I could do two five or three or three four. So that doesn't look like look prosperous. If this is five, these have to sum to five, which could be four, one, or two, three. If this is three, these have to sum to seven, which would be four, three. So if this is three, this is three. Is that a problem? Yes, this can't be a three. If this is a three. These have to sum to seven, and the only way to do that is four, three. So those would both be three, and then I can't put three in box nine because that sees that possible three, and that sees that possible three. That is a five. So that is a two. That is a four. These are nine. So in order to get to 10, that is a one. And now that entire diagonal sums to 40. That is really tricky, but I like it. That placement of the two threes and the resolution of it, really cool. This is now a two. This is a one. The two looks down, making that the three and that the two. The three comes out of here. The two comes out of here. The seven, nope, but the four makes this the three, which makes that the two, which makes that the seven and that the three. That makes this the seven. One, two, three, four, five. This is a six. The five looks up, making that the one and that the five. That was really beautiful. That was absolutely stunning. This is the three. Um, the two looks up, making that the four and that the one, which makes that the three. There's no three there. Uh, the one looks across, making that the four, taking the four out of there. These are a two five pair. That five looks up, making that the two and that the five. 24 minutes, 50 seconds. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, this was a harder puzzle. This was a harder puzzle, like not one of the like the extremely difficult ones. This was kind of mid-range. This is sort of, I think it was in the hard section of Signet Sudoku Volume 1. And at 24 minutes, 50 seconds with the exploration, yes. Um, I actually felt that some of the ones I did over the last few days were harder than this. Number two and number three, which uh, let me bring up the names again, Green Lantern and Don't Fall were about this range. And I think they were excellent. Four Leaf Clover was harder than this. And I honestly, I think... Um, uh, Thermomania was brutally hard. Um, I really think some of the tricks in Thermomania really ramp that one up. But overall, a really good set of puzzles. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series of Sudoku U. Um, there will be more of them soon, at some point, I hope, probably a month to six weeks away. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.